Well, we told you about a 13-year-old in Montrose who became the first ever blind athlete to compete in a South Dakota high school sanctioned sport in over 50 years and the first ever in track and field. And on Sunday, he's running in an event far bigger than those school meets. John Gaston's caught up with him today and tried to keep up to. You got to tell me like what pace to go at. Mm -hmm. We met Jackson Chef four months ago at his first middle school track meet when he became the state's first ever blind youth competitor in the sport. This historic moment happened after the State High School Activities Association allowed Jackson to have a guide runner. Let's go, Jax! If you have a disability, just know there are ways for you to do sports and be like other kids. Jackson just started his second year in cross country. On Sunday, the eighth grader will become the youngest blind competitor to run the all ages 5K race in the Sioux Falls Marathon. I'm a little excited for that. Um, I feel like I'm going, I hopefully do pretty well, but I'm running for fun. Some proceeds will be donated to the Sanford Children's Hospital, which is part of the local Children's Miracle Network. Last year's marathon raised more than $21,000 to help kids like Jackson. Children's Miracle Network has helped us tremendously with travel and food vouchers and lodging and anything we need to help get our child the medical um, support he needs. They've been amazing with that. CMN has also helped Jackson's younger brother, Jaron, who has an identical blindness. The Chef Boys have both been spokespeople for CMN. What's fun about it is I get to tell other people about uh, why donations matter. I also really, really like to share my story as well. But I could see him going into lawyer or radio personality or TV. Jackson is now diving into radio competitions for the Future Farmers of America, another organization Whoa. that's altered its rules to make room for Jackson and future blind competitors. Sometimes people will come up and just say like, you inspired my kids for cross country or running or that stuff. And if I can, if I can like, make break those barriers and stuff like that, then, you know, other kids can too. That just may happen again on Sunday. In Montrose, John Gaskins, Dakota News Now.